Hey, hey, there's an intentional fraud in order to suspend your social We always get these life. unwanted calls on our phones. So what we did is we designed a study. We had 10 different experimental conditions altering different aspects of robocalls. So for instance, are people more likely to fall victim to a specific scam targeting their organization or a broad scam? And so we conducted essentially our own phishing and robocalling campaign. So we sent out 3,000 calls, 300 in each of these conditions, to try to measure the effect and the rate that people would fall victim to these scams. And overall, we found that these scams had a, a variety of success rates around 1% all the way up to 10% for some of the most targeted scams. Now that we can understand that, we can start to think about how to combat them through things like user education and better technology defenses.